This video is sponsored by Card Kingdom. Go to the link in the description below so they know that I sent you. So about to do another Ravnica Allegiance ranked draft, which means best of one. If you're watching me on YouTube um, and here on Twitch as well, I wanna remind you that my content is sponsored by Card Kingdom. On Twitch, you can click on their logo on my panels below and it'll take you directly to the website and they'll know I sent you. So that'd be great if you could do that for me. Same thing on YouTube, except it's in the description below. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in this next draft and maybe it'll go a little better than our last one. Ooh, well, that's a good start. <laughs> I haven't gotten to play with Biogenicus. I've played with most of the good Mythics, but not that one. So it's an easy Biogenicus, uh, but, you know, for the sake of conversation, if the bomb wasn't here, I think I would take Orzhov Enforcer. Grasping Thrill's in the conversation as well. Um, but yeah, we'll take, we'll take the ooze here. Okay. So, awkwardly, the best cards in this pack are, like, all white. And obviously, green-white is not a deck in this format. Um, it's probably just Frenzied Erynx. I mean, it's really strong. It's on the... I guess it's about the same level as Forbidding Spirit, Spirit and Summary Judgment. But, yeah, so we'll take the Erynx. Okay. So, Frilled Mystic is tempting, but because it's... And it's the best card in the pack, but because it's not that easy to play, I think I'm going to take the Zhurta Goblin instead. Um, I could also think about Skate Wing Spy, uh, but yeah, that's true. Green White was barely a deck last set. So Skate Wing Spy is nice too, but I think I'm leaning towards the Goblin. Yeah. Probably just a Gruel Guild Gate here. Um, there's nothing special for us. I mean, Gore Clan Wrecker. Open the gates could be useful, but we'll take a guild gate here. Okay, um, it's probably Rebel Belt Runner over Gravelhide Goblin. Yeah, Spy does have good synergy. If we could pick one up, I would be pretty happy. All right, Sword Form Hybrid is great. Um, we've got a lot of plus one plus one counters over here, which is nice. Sometimes you don't get there on plus one plus one counters. Um, yeah, these are all most. These are pretty much all mediocre cards except Dead Rebels. We'll take a Gift of Strength. Yeah, here we'll take a Gravel Hide Goblin. It's a fine two drop. Um, we take a Goblin Gathering. Maybe an Open the Gates if we end up in a deck doing silly gate things. Steeple Creeper. I think Open the Gates probably has more upside. Um, yeah, another Goblin Gathering. Maybe I do take this one. Yeah, I think I will. Uh, Spike Wheel Acrobat is not very good, but it's what I'll take there. i fine with Gore Clan Wrecker, though. Um... Burn bright. Yeah, Regenesis gets back any any permanent. Okay. This pack has some strong stuff for people who are playing uh, Azorius between Law Mage's Binding and Pose Deploy and Azorius Skyguard. Uh, for us, I think we probably just want Scorchmark. Yeah, I mean, it's better than Territorial Boar for sure. Okay. Um, so... We've got a lot of plus and plus one counters for Biogenic Upgrade. Uh, Collision Colossus is nice, too. And Immolation Shaman's good, too. I mean, it's solid, too. Turning into, like, a real attacker in the late game is pretty nice. But I think probably Collision Colossus or Biogenic Upgrade are going to be better. We just have so many plus and plus one counters already that we're going to get a lot of extra value out of it. Um, and then this is a great combat trick, and it can kill Flyers. It's a hard choice. I mean, Titanic Brawl is sort of a... Distant fourth, probably. This is a strong pack for us, but picking which one I want is not easy. Um, yeah. I'm going to lean towards Collision Colossus. It's just more interactive. Okay, so here I think we take an Airynx. Um... So here, we could take a Rakdos Guildgate, a Rebel Slinger, or a Beastmaster. Um, it's probably the Beastmaster. Yeah. Okay, so here, we probably want Rumbling Ruin. We have tons of plus one plus one counters, and it's a nice card. So that's where we're going. 
Um, incubation and congruity could be nice off a of splash. But Rampaging Renhorn's all right. I think I'd probably take it. So we got Gruel Guildgate here, along with Mammoth Spider, Sylvan Brush Strider, Wrecking Beast. Um, we kind of want something that can stop flyers, so I'm going to go with the Mammoth Spider. Here we'll take a Brush Strider. So Rakdos Guildgate or Territorial Boar. We don't have anything to splash right now, but... Rakdos Guildgate could be nice, but I think we'd probably take the Boar. Uh, yeah, we'll take Titanic Brawl. We got tons of plus one, plus one counters, so... Take the Sony Strength here. Here we'll take a Rakdos Guildgate, just in case something happens in pack three. Yeah, we got the horrible Planeswalker. Why couldn't we get uh, Domri? Is that who I'm thinking of? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> this pack's not very good for us. So we could take another Rakdos Guildgate, but we have nothing to splash. So I think I just take a two drop. Yeah. Man, Judith would be nice. I mean, we do technically have one card to help us splash her. Um, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, I could try to go Jund. If it were pack three, I think I'd be more inclined to do it. And pack three, I think it's not the best plan when I can just take, you know, perfectly reasonable stuff like a Rebel Belt Runner. I do also have open the gates. That's a good point, and one that I wish I'd seen sooner. Would have made me think a little more about it. I think we want Savage Smash. Wayfinder's nice. Recluse is fine, but Smash is great when you have a lot of big creatures. So I think we want Bullrock Clan Crusher. We have a bunch of creatures with plus and plus one counters. Ooh. Yeah, we're definitely taking the rhythm here. We want to try to set that up. So probably a Rendhorn. Simit Guildgate's not going to do anything for us here. Um, yeah, so we'll take, take a red horn. Another Clan Crusher. I don't know that I want more than one. I may just want another Rubble Belt Runner. Yeah, that's what we're go. Where, where we will go. Um, so in terms of five drops, is Rubble Belt Recluse better than the red horn? Probably not. So it's not like an upgrade. Um, Vandal is something we don't have already. And it is nice that it helps you loot sometimes. So I think it's better than Brush Strider. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it. So we'll take a Rakdos Guildgate here, even though it's incredibly unlikely anything happens to... Maybe Judith comes back? Yeah, right. Probably not. Um, yeah, we'll take the Gravel Hide here. Here we'll take a Rubble Belt. Recluse... Tin Street Dodger, probably not going to play it. All right, this deck looks like it turned out a lot better than our last one did. I would say. We don't need Open the Gates. We don't need Rakdos Guildgate. Um, Spike Wheel Acrobat's an easy cut, so is Gork Land Wrecker. So is Feral Maka. Okay, so what's our curve look like? It looks how you want it to look in a Gruul deck, except for all these fives. Um, so we're probably cutting one, and I think the Recluse... I think the Renhorns are just better than the Recluse. Brush Striders aren't great. I think I want to cut at least one of them. Um... Smeltworn Ignis isn't great, but is it better than Territorial Boar? Probably not in this deck. So I think I cut the Ignis. Um, yeah, probably the other Brush Strider. How many creatures do we have, incidentally, right now? 18, so plenty. Um, and then probably a Rendhorn. I mean, do I really want a Mammoth Spider more than I want a Rendhorn? I don't think so. I think we cut the spider. All right, this looks pretty good. 
Um, all right. Let's do this. You know, this gift of strength. Eh, I think it's probably all right. I could consider running another creature, but the gift of strength seems fine. We're going to be attacking a lot, so being able to try to, like, run over our opponent um, with combat tricks is pretty good. All right, I think this is a keep. It's nothing, nothing fancy, just play creatures real fast and... Beat the opponent down. Opponent thinking whether or not they want to mulligan. Did our opponent, like, get disconnected? <laughs> Step away from their computer? Who knows? Who knows? Seems that way. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah. We're going to go 2 drop, 3 drop, 4 drop, and it's going to be pretty nice. Especially if our opponent's having a slow start, we could just steal a game here. Not too slow of a start, but um, I think it's fine to attack here. I'm kind of hoping they don't block it, but if they do, I'm kind of okay with that too. <clears throat> But I'd rather they didn't. <laughs> Thanks, Dildozer. Yeah, it's a nice curve. Good. Let's just be the beat down a little more. I mean, I definitely take two here. What do they do? Play Blade Juggler? Seems likely. Yeah. You know, Blade Juggler is a little annoying. It would be nice not to have to lose a creature here at all, but I think we'll be okay with it. stuck on one color it looks like so that'll help us a little i think um i could go super aggro here and play the beastmaster attack make this have six power uh but i don't think it seems worth it i think it's better to just play these two yeah we'll attack with both Yeah. Fine by me. And then we go Rebel Belt. So... Yeah, I mean, depending what they have, we could just have Lethal here. Yeah. Let's hope we curve out like that again, huh? It's interesting, like, you know, gates, gate decks have been pretty open for the most part in this format. 
But it seems like both drafts we've done this so far in the stream, the, the bots were all over the gate stacks. Because we didn't end up with any gate payoffs in this one, and um, we have one guild gate. Like, we could have picked up some more guild gates, but we didn't see gate breaker ram or any of that crazy stuff that would make us want to do that. All right, I think this is good. We've got two two drops. You know, having these two in our hand is certainly not ideal, but we've got two two drops and a three drop, and that's pretty ideal. Um, yeah, so I probably play the Goblin just because if I play it as a three three, it's pretty likely to get in there, um, like, right away. I don't think they updated the bot AI. I think we just happen to be in a situation uh, where it's the bots are drafting a little better. So I could play the hybrid instead. I think there's a good chance of quench, but I think we just say whatever. Looks like saying whatever was the right move. All right, a slow start like this, I think, is something we can take advantage of. Unfortunately, we don't don't have a three drop right now, but um, I mean a four drop. So, but we have a bunch of fives, and we only need to draw one more land to be able to play them, so it's not too bad. Morning, Quintus Dick. Yeah, we have a nice can for our Crusher, that's for sure. So we can play two two drops this turn now, which is pretty nice. All right, so I think that's what we do. We go hybrid. Probably should have played the high, gravel high goblin first because thought collapse. Yeah, thought collapse is likely, and I'd rather hold on to that. Oh, good, our biogenic ooze. They have a ton of mana right now, but if we can hit a fifth land, I think. We've got a really, really good chance of winning. Okay, well, same thing if they play Junk Troller. We've got a really good chance of winning. <laughs> okay, well, that's nice. So, if I use Collision Colossus here, that will trample over for only one. Yeah, it's probably not worth it. I think we're just going to do this. Yeah, I should have played it, played better for sure. Yeah, I mean, this is not, this is not the right matchup for our opponent. <laughs> you can't be doing that against our deck, just like, you know, doing silly things. Yeah, I mean, I even thought about it when they played it. Um, when they played that locket, but then I was like... Then I still played stupidly. But, you know, in the end, Gravel Hide was fine. Yeah, my deck is kind of a fun police deck, that's true. Dovin's Acuity, Ill-Gotten Inheritance, that stuff usually isn't going to be good enough against us because they're too slow. And our deck has an awesome curve and such. Yeah, I think this is fine. Don't we only have one gravel hide goblin? He's really liked us so far. Fellow gruel deck. Probably, anyway. Oh, well, teamer probably. It's pretty easy to go teamer with um, uh, the, this deck. Like, between how easy it is to get fixing and how many cards there are that are nice with it. So I play the hybrid because there's a better chance it can kill something with Savage Smash. So, definitely a weird Gruel deck if that's what they're... <laughs> Playing Wall of Lost Thoughts is a little odd. Um, so I think I just attack here and maybe get in for some free damage. 
Snowfather TV, thanks for the follow. Um, like, I'm not going to use Gift of Strength here, but yeah, so I'll play Gravel Hide. More creatures would be good, but you know, it's whatever. Wow. Okay. We should be in pretty good shape here, I would think. Yeah, they're definitely a super defensive deck. Um, so, I think it is actually time to Savage Smash. I haven't seen a mill deck ever work out on Arena yet, but we may be about to, you know, so... It's weird to be in these colors to me, but they may be uh, just splashing a really good red card removal spell or something and be Simic, but that still seems sort of weird to me. Yeah, it could be a high alert deck, but there's no white mana yet. All right, so... We're going to use Gift of Strength here. We are having a hard time drawing creatures this game, which may not bode well, but at least we have a Mana Sink in our hybrid who will be large enough to not be worried about any of this stuff next turn. This is when Rhythm of the Wild's kind of mediocre, when you're like, yeah... Okay, guess I'll draw it now. <laughs> okay, we'll tag with everything. There's not really a good reason not to. Um, so, do we want that trade to happen, or do we just kill the Terramander? I think... I think we're kind of okay with this trade, and then we make this guy a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about Caretaker. They could have a bounce spell or something here. I was thinking they wouldn't, but... Ah, so they're just gonna kill my Gravel Hide, which is annoying, but... Not the end of the world. Oh, yeah, I guess I should have attacked. Well, that's not good. I mean, it's still a creature big enough to rumble with what they have going on, but... Yeah, so I think we want to kill the Terramander more. Ooh, I could just use Titanic Brawl here. That's probably the best move, actually. Um, yeah. So yeah, then we're going to play our wild. Okay, we need to stop drawing lands, please. We need some creatures to take advantage of our rhythm. Yeah, they're only one land away from being able to adapt their hybrid. It's worth noting. It's a little slow for them right now. Yeah, so I think we play this with haste. Right. They can start using Verity Circle, which will be annoying, but... If they decide to use all their mana for that and not add to the board, um, I think we come out ahead. Okay, so... 
do I just attack here into this hybrid that can adapt and get in for like five or whatever? Except I won't even get in for five. Crap. It's better to hold on to our resources here so that if we draw like any creature, we can give it haste. They didn't use Verity Circles, so they're pretty much definitely using Sword Form Hybrid. So they could block the Caretaker with this and then block one of the three threes. But I guess they go to one. They go to one in most scenarios here. I'm going for it. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I should have waited. Yeah, with Verity Circle, it could end up being a bit of a mistake here. We'll see. Yeah, that's annoying. That's enough lands. Oh god, they did we They did mill a bunch of lands for us to still be drawing lands. Yeah, now they can start trying to take over the game, unfortunately, for us. With their Verity Circle. Okay. So. I think we give him haste and plus one plus one, and they're gonna they're gonna tap something, obviously. I could just go all plus one plus one, and then he's a six six, but he's just gonna be what gets tapped down. So, really. They have something in their hand, clearly, but... Oops. <laughs> they made... Yeah, they messed up. Okay, we'll take it. Yeah, they meant to tap down our guy, and they did not. That always sucks. Tapping down our guy there, I mean, it would have made things interesting. This is a weird one. Like, we really... I don't think we can keep it on the play because everything's so expensive. But, you know, if you can play a turn three Rhythm of the Wild, it's hard to beat. Um, so, yeah, I think we mulligan this thing. All right, this one is better. Third land. I, yeah, I'm okay with that. We're up against Mythic number 471. For those of you who can't see that. Hello, Johnny Goldmane, 65. Okay, so... Could have Quench here. And thank you also for the follow, Johnny Goldmane, 65. Ooh, Fairy Duelist. No, I should have been ready. I mean, I do have Collision Colossus, which might have been worth it, but I honestly didn't think about the Duelist, which is not so good. Does that get quenched? I think it gets quenched. So, I think we want to play this so we can do more damage. 
they have another quench here, it's gonna look like we're playing around it, but in reality, we just don't have anything else to do. So, <laughs> we'll take the four damage. Okay. No Fairy Duelist. Again, that works for me. Uh, we'll try to play our Vandal here. Good chance it gets Thought Collapsed, but I think we're kind of okay with it. Having a guy with a counter on the board is nice for our Ruin. Um, obviously, we'd like more than one, but making sure we have the one works out too. So what we'd like to see... I don't hate to see that. We can obviously play Rumbling Ruin and get around or get around it. Um, so, do we just attack? I think we attack. Do I l rummage? I don't think so. I don't think I want to rummage here. We're we'll decline. So they do make me pay four here, right? Like, if they block my Gravelhide Goblin. Um, I could also instead, like, play uh, a combat trick, but I'd rather not use a card, you know? Okay, well, that's all right. We'll take it. Right, they've got their own big boy over there. It's not nice. Right, so we're gonna play a Rumbling Ruin and not get the big effect out of it, but you know, he's a huge creature. <laughs> so we'll take it. So, I'm hoping they're not holding a bounce spell here, because that could be pretty gross. It's not the end of the world, but... Okay, Fairy Duelist. Not going to solve the potential problem we're going to create here. Uh, it does make it harder for us to come out super ahead. Um... But not by a lot. Okay, so... We're only going to have eight power. So I th that means we want to kill the Rendhorn and the Duelist. I could also just kill one of them with Collision, which might be a little safer if they have a Bounce spell. No, we'd rather use Colossus. Please don't have something gross here. Please don't have something gross. Good. All right, then we're gonna play our Beastmaster. So, they have to block my Rumbling Ruin when I attack here. Um, I wish Scorchmark was more useful. So, if I attack with both, it doesn't actually accomplish very much because they could just block that with Mammoth Spider. I mean, I would kill a creature, but I kind of get to do that anyway. I think it's better to not attack with my Beastmaster here. Sure, that makes him a 9-9, so they have to block it and lose a creature, but that means they'll block with Senate Courier and Mammoth Spider will block the Beastmaster. I guess I can then use Scorchmark to clear the board, though, huh? 
Yeah, that's probably worth it. I convinced myself. Oh yeah, I guess I could have given the Beastmaster. That was probably smarter. Making it a 6-3. Oh no, it says another. There, that's why I didn't do it. Yeah. Yeah, so then we'll scorch mark this off the board. Chances are good that we have the larger, scarier creature, you know, in top deck mode here. Yeah, we do. Alright, so we could play Jurtai Goblin with haste, but because it's not lethal, I don't think it's worth it. Plus, if we give him 3-3, three, three, he's lethal on his own, so... We got there. Take that, Mythic. <laughs> I wish I could play enough to get to Mythic. Maybe someday. Maybe, maybe. All right, so. Let's keep it going. Yeah, I'm with you, Manalik. I think we talked about it on uh, Twitter that, and as you put it, you're rewarded the more for the amount of time you have than you are for being good <laughs> at limited, which is a pretty good way to put it. <laughs> like a 60% win percentage should be able to get you there more quickly than it does, that's for sure. All right, so... Hybrid. Because we don't have anything else to do on turn three, there's a good chance we just want to Savage Smash and attack this turn. Chances are good that the creature will be smaller, you know, so. All right, well. Unless they don't play anything, and then we don't use our mana at all. But I guess that's a good problem to have. The opponent not having any mana. I mean, not having any creature in play. Because now we can just be like Erynx, Erynx, Clan Crusher. See you later, Gemini Twin. Well, that's annoying. Mostly because it makes it so we can't attack um, with our hybrid, but I do love that card. I think it's one people still tend to overrate. Like, there's so many... There aren't a lot of big creatures in this format if you are not either Simic or Gruul. Against everyone else... I mean, against most people, it's good, and against them, it's great. Um, against everyone else, it's great. Except Simic and Gruel. Yeah, I guess resetting to Platinum 4 is... passable. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, I think we just Scorch Mark the Acrobat. See what happens there. Looks like it'll work. Now I need to decide... It's like, how likely is it that they have a gift of strength here? It's kind of likely. Um, Poo. I think we go for it either way. They have a gift of strength. It's going to hurt so bad if they do. Oh, okay. At least they both die. We both two for two there. And I have more action in our in the hand, so... Yeah, it avoids all the problem death touchers. That's right. It's pretty great. All right, so we're actually going to play the Rendhorn here. Use all our mana. Okay, so... think, yeah, we'll play a creature. 
You can actually play two. I guess we might as well. There aren't exactly board sweepers in their color pair. They just did that for fun. Yeah. But yeah, you'd think on a week like this, like where I'm off from my, you know, job, uh, that playing as much as I do with like a 60% plus um, win percentage, it's like, surely I should get to Mythic as much as I've been drafting this week, but I would need an insane win percentage to get there. And our win percentage has actually dropped a couple points this week, so... Yeah, I've been streaming almost every morning, doing three or four drafts a day, and uh, I'll probably get to whatever the next rank is, the one between Mythic and uh, Platinum, Crystal, whatever it is. Okay, this hand's fine. We've been running people over, see if we can keep it going. All right, so turn two, three, three, turn three, 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 turn four, Beastmaster. If you finish in the top 1,000, you get to play in that playoff to then qualify for um, uh, Mythic Championship. So you do get something if you're in the Mythic, in the top 1,000 in Mythic, but yeah. Yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> Manalik has the more specific terminology than the uh, the thing, as I referenced it. Um, yeah, I think I just play Rubble Belt Runner here. It's kind of not money. Um, if you have a high enough win percentage, you do get rewarded on Arena for basically never having to spend real money. Um, so that's nice. I mean, I spent $20 initially, and I haven't spent any more on anything. So, I could consider attacking with my goblin here and just trading. Eh, I don't think I want to. So, drafts don't cost very much is the short answer. If you're gonna, if you're good enough to get in the top 1,000, although, again, as we talked about, time is the real uh, thing that you have going on there, but if, if you can do that, then, you know, you probably didn't spend much money. Okay, so... Do I attack with both here? Gift of Strength, the one they don't block. Or do I just play Gruel Beastmaster? I think I just play the Beastmaster. I think we just want to populate our board. I mean, granted, it's probably better for us to be attacking. Um, but, I mean, we're, the, we're a deck who normally wants to be attacking, but our opponent isn't allowing that. Sadly. Okay. Skitter Eel could be a problem in a little bit. Alright, so I do think I attack with everything now. And I think we pump. Let's pump our Goblin. We use Gift of Strength to kill whatever the Axebane Beast. Oh. Yeah, I think we let the trade happen with Brush Strider. So we can Gift of Strength and play another Rebel Belt Rider here. Rebel Belt Runner, whatever it's called. Ah. So I can kill both of them. It's a two for two, but I think that's probably worth it. Yeah. Definitely worth it. Skitter Eel's about to be bigger than our guys. Well, temporarily, anyway. I think I just attack with everything again. I could play a creature with haste. Like our Rendhorn with haste and attack with everything. That seems pretty good. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll go with haste. Attack with everything. So they can block and adapt, but they take nine in the process, so... And we still have two more creatures with haste in our hand. All right, that's more annoying. That means, yeah. Skidder Eel will kill our Zyrta Goblin, but I guess we're okay with that. Let's okay with that. That's not good. Yeah, they just blew us out pretty hard. We get in for six, but they're going to kill two of our creatures and not lose any of their own. Yeah, that was nasty. That's kind of a surprising choice on our opponent's part. Do you think they have another gift of strength? That they would leave their mana the way it is? Because it just means I can attack now. I think we're going for it. But if they have another gift of strength, it's not going to be good. Good news is we do have a Frenzied Erings in our hand and tons of mana, so we got that going. Yes, yeah, so we want to kill the Arrow Monk Killers for sure. Wow. Gotta say, I'm surprised that's what they decided to do. Okay. Ooh, hello. I think I attack here and just play Biogenic Ooze. Is it tempting to play the Erinx with haste? I mean, yeah, maybe that was the right move. <laughs> I could decide to kill both of these, but I think just playing, killing the Lizrog and playing our Ooze is good. Yeah, the one blue source is definitely helping us out. Okay. So, I think I play my Erings with haste here. So, I think we let them keep the duelist again. Oh, they don't actually get to keep anything anyway. That's right. So our ooze should help us run away with this one. Finish it off. All right. Right, we're at six and zero. Oh. That helps even out the two and three in our first draft. <laughs> That's for sure. Probably we'll have time to jump in one more after this. Probably. Yeah, there's also, you can just grind the quests and get enough gold to always play the ranked formats. That's true, too. Which is nice. Ooh, another good go first hand. Savage Smash is just... nasty. We've had a lot of turn two Zyrta goblins in this draft, which has definitely been helpful. Okay. 
Okay. Still a useful savage smash target, potentially, at least. Trying to land there would have been nice. Um, we just attack. I don't think we need to use Savage Smash here. We need to hit our next few lands and we'll be in business. Well, that's annoying. Um, yeah. We lose our Rumbling Ruin. Which, you know, kind of would have been nice to keep, but what are you going to do? So, Savage Smash time. Your grasping throw. No, just a blade juggler. Okay, so yeah, we attack with both of these. Offer up the trade. Thank you for the follow, Werewave. Big earrings ready to go. They aren't a color pair that has lots of ways to kill a frenzied earrings, but or shard, I guess, or what wedge. I don't know. I don't know what a shard is and what a wedge is in magic. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> I don't know which terminology is correct, and I don't know that I care. Actually, I guess if I really think about it, shards are the things that were in Alara. So and wedges are like you know, different. <laughs> okay, so it's a tempting Gruel Beastmaster board because it won't die. I think those are golf terms. <laughs> uh. So, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, man. Like, there's a reason it's called a wedge, I guess. So... Trying to decide here. I think I just attack with my Erinx. Then probably play Beastmaster with a counter. It might have Blade Brand here, I guess. Ooh, or clear the stage. Um, yeah, I can't do anything about that. Too bad I don't have six mana. All right, so yeah, we'll play our Beastmaster now. Okay, opponent's trying to turn the tables here. Um, another counter. We're just going to end our turn. Yeah, they did well killing that Erinx. Making us discard a Rumbling Ruin earlier hurts right now, too, because... I don't know that I would have put it on the Vandal. Oh, okay. I guess I would have. <laughs> Okay, we're in trouble now. We gotta draw really well, because our opponent has just, like, completely outcarded us now. Um, yeah, that's a good one. I think we play it with haste. Um, no, we don't. Do we? Yes. Yes, we do.
Usually, we don't want the game to go this long, so... <laughs> could be in some trouble here. Okay, that's pretty good. Now the game going along feels a little better than it would have otherwise felt. Alright. I think we're okay with that, though, and not playing anything this turn. A little less okay with that, but... What are you gonna do? Double Grudian. It's not cool. Um. Yeah, we'll end our turn. Wishing I had that spider main board right about now. Hmm. That does drop me to three. Honestly, I think blocking and going to five probably worth it to give us the best chance here. Oh god. Yeah, it's hard for our deck to win a game where our opponent gets to play Knight of the Last Breath, that's for sure. They can just attack with both here and I have to block it and they get the flyers, so I think we are dead. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Zhurta Goblin. Good call, everybody. Me smart. Yeah, we lose that one. Blocking with my Goblin probably would have helped. So much for 7 to know, at least. Pretty good. We definitely want to draw more creatures, but we're going to. Our deck has lots of them. All right. There's one, for example. I guess we did have Collision in our deck, so we don't need the Spider desperately or anything. Is this Savage Smash time? I feel like it probably is. We've got the opening. We could use Scorch Mark, but I think I'm okay with how that went down. Got a race still got an inheritance now. I think we can. I don't want them to play a second one, but I think one is doable. Yeah, we're just going to take that. Okay. Scorch mark the guild mage, attack with both, play territorial boar. Grotesque demise, maybe. Or be deck. That works too. I could, ooh. <laughs> oh, wait a second here. If we use Gift of Strength, this will get his toughness to, his power to five and then to eight. Oh man, that's what we gotta do. And he won't die. How's that for turning B deck on our opponent? <laughs> yeah, that'll work. That works. 
The fact that I have another trick is what really made me feel like that was an okay plan. Alright, so... They have one card in their hand. Um... So they're going to have to crack this. We'll play another Erynx. All right, we got there. Seven and one. Not too bad. So, yeah, draft 41, 138. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, you're right. Colossus would have done more damage. I didn't think about it, but I do think maybe holding on to Colossus for later is better because of the trample, but, um, yeah. Yeah. 